first of all, thank you and welcome to new subscribers. And um, yes, if you subscribed because you were interested in a free reading, um, I just wanted to say, just a quick catch up before I do the reading, just a couple of quick announcements. First of all, I am going to be doing some more free readings, um, but they will be a competition. I'm going to do two free readings at the end of July, and I might make that a regular thing. So, I, but I just thought it would be nice to do some readings that would allow me to reach more people, to help more people. Um, so I've split these up in signs, so I'm doing readings for all signs and um, for the month of July. But what I'll do is I will look to see which of the videos has been the most popular. In other words, which ones received the most comments and likes and things like that. And then from that video, if everyone just makes sure that they comment under the video, when they comment, they do mention whether or not they'd like to have a free reading. If you want to comment just for commenting, that's great, that's fine as well. Um, but what I'll do is I will choose from the most popular video, I'll take all the names of people who've said they'd like a reading and I'll put them in a hat at the end of July and then I will do three free readings which will be posted on the channel. So if you've looked at the free readings um, playlist and you've seen those, you'll see what I mean, you'll know what I'm talking about and you could have one of those. Those are on display because they're completely free and that was kind of the agreement. Um, but if you do book a private reading, all the details are under the um, video in the description box. That is completely private. You get a completely private link sent to you or it might be audio or it might be on Skype. But either way, if you do book a reading with me, it is completely private. But if I do one of these um, giveaway things and you win a free reading, that will be posted on the channel. That's it. Thank you so much um, again for coming to watch the video and I hope you have a fantastic July and I'll speak to you soon. Hello lovely Taurus, this is your reading for your Angel Scope Tarot Scope reading for the month of July 2017. And um, Right, so just a quick astrological overview. So the sun is going to be in Cancer for most of July. And for you, that is your one, two, three, your third house. So you're going to be changing your thinking. Um, you're going to be changing the way that you look at a lot of things in your life at the moment. That's what you need to be focusing on at least. Um, and also, uh, the third house is the house of local journeys as well and your local community, um, it can be siblings, um, just short, short trips. So, you know, you could be running around here and there connecting with people in your local vicinity in order to facilitate a better life for yourself. So, you know, cancer is very much about nurturing, very much about taking care of yourself, taking care of your sensitivities. So it could be that by changing your thinking, the way you think about things, you develop a, a better uh, sense of caring for yourself, of nurturing yourself, of healing old childhood wounds and patterns. It could be that you start seeing things differently, that you start to feel less defensive, that you stop making things, um, you know, that you start to see things people do and say as being much more about them than about you. And this gives you a bit more peace and a bit more freedom within yourself. Either way, it's definitely going to be about changing your thinking um, this month in, in order to nurture yourself. So let's see what the cards can add to that. So what do we have for the sign of Taurus in the month of July 2017? Holy Spirit guides and the cards, the universe, I'm asking you. Okay, so stop shuffling there. All right, so let's have a quick Celtic cross spread and then we'll do some oracle cards, pull some oracle cards. So the center, right, so Taurians at the moment could be feeling a little bit um, as if they're having to make a, a lot of sacrifices in their lives. Um, so this could be anything from feeling as if you're not receiving enough for your work, feeling as if you're not ever able to completely put your own needs first, or feeling as if you are just 
you know, putting yourself out there, sacrificing yourself, giving your life for the greater good and not receiving anything back in the in terms of the personal, the one-to-one, -one, in terms of who you are. It can work on so many levels. There's also a sense of being suspended, things being suspended, things being held up, waiting for things to come through and not being able to actually take an assertive step forward to make them go any faster or to change things in the way that you would like to. And it feels as if you're being asked to surrender actually is a much better word. Um, you know, I mean, it, it can be both, but I'm feeling that it's a sense of surrender, that you're being asked to surrender in July and to keep trusting. Trust the power of your journey is what I've just heard. So I hope that means something to you. So what's crossing this sacrifice? Ah, oh, wonderful. Ah, oh, so perfect, right? So it's a classic ascension. This is a classic ascension duo, really, isn't it? When you think about it, we're being asked to surrender, to sacrifice the lower self, to give up what we're holding on to, what we're trying to control and make happen in a particular way so that we can receive the light, so that we can become one with the light, so that we can be a channel for the highest light. And that may not make sense to you yet, while you're watching this video but I feel by the end of July it will make perfect sense because there is a lot of light around you, there is a lot of light coming in and coming through you. You're being upgraded, you're being upgraded and I feel that you know your your guides are around you wanting to lift you up, to elevate you, <laughs> they've just corrected, my guides have corrected me and said wanting to elevate you, there's a difference, it's a subtle difference, it's to do with the, the ascension process, they're wanting to elevate you and elevate your consciousness so that you will see things from the correct perspective on a much more frequent basis and this is really the ascension journey that more often than not you are able to see that consciousness and be in the light for longer and longer and longer and therein lies the secret of your greatest manifestations that's wonderful very exciting okay so and you've got above you okay Deception and envy. So this is a message for you to just be aware and I'm just feeling the energy falling with this. So I feel that for you what's happened is that you may have actually shared, when I see this card I usually say that it's a warning not to share too much of what you're doing too soon because you need to build the energy, build the manifestation let it grow, give it a chance to really ripen and for you to have really confident, strong steps on your new path before you start talking about it too much because you know all of this, that the energy that comes back to you when you start sharing is going to be, you know, if it's all, it's like a sensitive little bud waiting to blossom um, when you've got a new plan and if you if you speak too soon it can be and someone just sort of says the wrong thing at the wrong time and you're not feeling strong enough about it yet it can be like a giant's foot trampling this delicate bud that's what I'm seeing my guides you know give me these symbols and images so I'm just um, you know this could be a warning you may not have done this, but I did feel the energy dropping there, so I feel you may have spoken too quickly and maybe to not the most supportive energies, but you can bring it back round again, okay, because I'm feeling that lifting and they're shining the sun in front of me, so it's still okay. Let this be a learning experience. All right, so you've got patience. Okay, so you've been very patient, and I love this because it's such a Taurian card. She's holding this seed, and from it there's a, a shoot growing, and you can see the intensity. She's staring at this thing and almost willing it to grow, and the healing energy that's in those hands. And So there's something there that you've really nourished and really nurtured, and that you're really, really, really wanting to bring to fruition and see it growing. And how perfect, you know, after that image that I've just been given about this bud. And, um, right, I've just heard beanstalk, so I want you to think of this as you've got magic beans, Taurus, you've got magic beans, you've got them in your hands, and there's, n there's nothing that's actually going to stop this ultimately. Just notice along the way where you've sabotaged yourself, why you think you did it, and just, you know, ask for healing, ask to heal and release it, if, that's, if that applies for you. So, that's where you're coming from. 
You've also come from some kind of uh, disappointment here that you're just moving out of, but it's again not the whole picture because, great, you're moving into stronger alliances, stronger partnerships. And I feel you've already got some uh, around you, but I feel that there is a need for some new energy to come into your life. New energy that helps you, that supports you. It, remember at the beginning we said that it was about you changing your thinking. That's going to be really important. You need to change the thinking of expecting disappointment, expecting to be let down. And I've heard betrayed. So that's, you know, it's really interesting. Just, just see if you can hold that. Um, in a space of healing and light and, and at least commit to the idea that you could be ready to release that now because there's some lovely new things coming in and I'm noticing that you've got three on this card as well which was, you know, the third house very much a sense that when you begin to change your thinking and try to stay in that vibration of the more positive, the better feeling thought, as Abraham would say, when you begin to stay and practice that vibration increasingly, that's when you're going to attract the right kinds of partnerships and you won't sabotage them. Okay, you deserve it. It's time. Okay, so... Your attitude towards what's happening at the moment, you're developing awareness, you're developing awareness with every step, with everything that changes, everything that happens is a new learning experience, you're also opening up more psychically, you're opening up more to the divine and somebody's just said tell them, tell them about the crown chakra, so your crown chakra is very, um, is very much opening up at the moment to wisdom and guidance uh, from spirit, so just trust yourself and trust what you're guided to do moment to moment moment okay um, yeah it's great to have a big picture and to see the big picture but there are nuances along the way that you need to be noticing so um, in your environment yeah there have been some financial ups and downs that's the best way that I can uh, describe it a lot of uncertainty a lot of changes uh, feast or famine um, not quite finding the right footing yet or there's been some investment in something and it hasn't quite turned out the way that you thought it would just yet or quite as quickly as you would have liked. Um, follow through is what I've heard, follow through. Um, you're on the right path. Okay, hopes and fears. There's something that you're hoping, like, so this sense of, okay, it hasn't quite gone according to plan just yet, and you're wanting to get some answers, you're wanting the truth to be uh, revealed to you, and uh, what you're afraid is that it's never going to come out. You're also, there's a mirroring going on here, because you're also wanting to check yourself and make sure that you are being very truthful. So I feel that you are in a period at the moment where you're, Re reaching for your highest integrity that you ever have actually in this lifetime which is really lovely because when you come into that real integrity of self of your journey of being deserving of feeling deserving of letting yourself off the hook for once you know giving yourself the chance to release all of that karma all that old stuff that makes you think in that self-defeating way when you give yourself a chance to do all of that and move into this new light of possibilities then that's when you'll start to see things um, opening up and blooming and blossoming in the way that you want them to. I'm getting lots of gardening metaphors at the moment. It's interesting. Um, but I suppose, you know, with the cancer vibration, because you'd expect that more in Taurus, but with the cancer vibration, you know, all these tiny little seeds, they're like little babies, aren't they? They need to be nurtured. They need to be nourished. So remember that process and really bring it into your heart again. Do it with love and make sure that, you know, your your heart is wrapped around it rather than your head and your thinking and your logic because things do grow from love as long as we're in a loving place um, things will grow so the outcome of all this so by the end of July I would expect ah, that you have gained a greater degree of wisdom about everything and this book is really shining as well so if you were thinking of doing some writing as well that's something that's going to be um, coming to the forefront a little bit more. <laughs> There's a little doggy here. I feel as if you, you've got a lot of spirit energy around you, including power animals and possibly physical animals who are kind of like little guides and guardians for you and there are little messages and little signals all the time around you that are showing you, you know, it's okay, it's going to be all right, it's going to be okay, it's going to be all right. Focus on what you love, focus on what you know you need to do, take hold of, you know, take charge of this situation, spirit will support you. Of course, don't be 
irresponsible. We all need to, you know, keep things rolling along in a responsible way. But there is something here. It's like this book is shining out this golden truth. And of all the things that are in this card, that's the thing that I'm being drawn to. That there is wisdom that you can... Um, pass on that you can record and that you can disseminate and that the world needs and it might turn out that you realize by the time you get to the end of July that you're going to have to draw a line in the sand so to speak and say right I'm carving out this time to make this thing happen whatever it is whether it's a plan for a new business or a structure or some reports that you've got to hand in if you're a student or you know for your work or whether you're um, you know working on e exams or whatever it is or whether it's actually a book a book full of your knowledge your specialisms or even not a novel that contains higher truth um, I feel you're being asked to commit your wisdom to paper and get it out into the world and that you will come to see that in July and you will prioritize it a bit more so let's have a look at another card to go with that how will you be supported Choose wisely, okay. Wisdom and choosing wisely, that's great. So choose wisely how you spend your time. Feel there are lots of things pulling on your time and your attention. And this is a part of the problem with not focusing. What will help Taurus to focus, Spirit? What will help Taurus to focus? Thank you, in the month of July. Heart chakra, beautiful. So as we said, <laughs> do what you love and do it with love. And you will be supported because then you will be in the right vibration to manifest wonderful things, okay? Trust the wheels to turn a little bit on their own so that you can focus on your great work, Taurus. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to just pull a couple of... Okay, I'm going to go for these. Um, so the Angels and Gods and Goddesses, Angels, Gods and Goddesses by Tony Kama and Selena. We're just going to quickly do past, present and future to give you another overview and perspective. Angel of Family, so you're moving out of a period here of, I feel, uh, family healing, um, which is interesting for Cancer again. So angels surround both you and your family at the moment. So it's almost as if, this looks like a very close-knit family. It looks as if there's been a lot of love coming around the family as a result of some honest conversations or some sense within you of, I'm going to let go of that, I'm going to let go of that. I'm going to heal that. I'm going to let bygones be bygones. So there's been, and that's a lovely supportive energy, even if it's just in your heart. But I feel there may have been some practical support there as well. So that's what you're moving through. Angel of the Universe, you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. That's what we said at the beginning. Taurus, everything is there waiting for you. It's really going to be a shift in perspective that just brings it in to your physical reality, okay? You're being encouraged to expand your thinking. That's what's current. That's what's happening for you in July. And then we have the Goddess of Oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. I feel that you have um, someone in spirit, but I also feel that you have people around you in your world who are just waiting for you to ask for their help. That's what I feel that means in this context. And I don't know whether it's pride or stubbornness. We know that you can be quite, let's just say, fixed in your ideas, Taurus, um, when you get an idea about how things need to be done. Um, but uh, there's this shift in your thinking, expanding your thinking, could expand to the point where you start to feel your way into, look how that's just landed right next to partnerships and alliances. Expand your thinking in terms of, well, if I need to make this happen, and I need some support to make this happen, there's a timer, how, who do I need to reach out to? What thinking do I need to overcome in order to allow me to reach out? How do I need to sort of galvanise other people around me? What sort of good um, uh, arrangements, reciprocal arrangements that are a win-win for everyone? What could I cut? You know, if I sat down and used my imagination and I decided that in order to grow now, I need to bring a better partnership, a better quality of partnership around me, who would I reach out to? How would I do that? in a way that was um, beneficial to everyone involved. I do feel that, that you are being called to do that now. And um, I think that's it. I think we're done. Also, if you're moving into a romantic partnership, um, Taurus, at some point um, in July, 
make sure it's one that really supports you. You might be looking around you in that respect as well and thinking, I really do need to feel supported in my work now. I need to feel that what's happening in my partnerships really supports me in my life. Okay, that's it. Have a fantastic July. It's going to be a good one and I'll see you next month. Bye. Oh, and if you'd like to book a reading with me, um, all the links are below the video. Okay, take care. Bye.